I'm Megan Lister, and I'm a senior at Buena Vista University. Last year, uh, I was going through some rough stuff and uh, started remembering things that had happened in my past. Some of it dealt with uh, sexual molestation when I was younger, and then sexual assaults that I've experienced throughout my life, and just realizing that that happened. And so that triggered a panic attack, the first one I ever had last October, and then that essentially kind of just snowballed. I felt probably more just helpless. I didn't really know what to do about it. They gave me paroxetine and they gave me a small amount. And so over the summer, that, that seemed to kind of help bring me back to my former self where I just kind of started to enjoy doing things again. I felt motivated to try different things. I started to feel more confident for therapy. I was just talking to Mandy Boothby, the local counselor here at school, and she helped me through a lot of mainly just kind of accepting that it happened and learning how I wanted it to affect me. People, I think, were kind of, it depended on the person. Some people were dismissive and, you know, probably thought I was over-exaggerating. And then others were more supportive. My boyfriend especially was very, very supportive and suggested for me to get help. A lot of the anxiety kind of comes from, from school now, mainly just I had to talk to all my professors, let them know what I was going through. It depends on the day. Sometimes it's people. Sometimes it's dealing with a lot of homework. Like right now I have a lot of homework that I need to get done, and I very much need to pace myself. But at the same time, I have to be very careful not to get myself worked up. Otherwise, that sets me about a day and a half behind. I need to be able to recognize how much time certain work takes and then knowing I need to take a break, or I need to maybe start working on this early, or this doesn't matter as much, try not to worry about this assignment, and just, just get it done. I was, you know, going to have struggles when it came to anxiety about how to take care of myself, you know, putting myself first. I have to very much take into account my needs, if I need to sleep, eat, because those are probably the big two that I struggle with, and I think a lot of people probably struggle with. A lot of the times I tend to sleep just because I'm very sleep deprived. Going for walks helps, eating helps, uh, talking to people, and taking breaks, I, that's very important. <laughs> communication seems to help quite a bit for anxiety and it's changed the communication. I've learned how much I need to value it, how much of power it has over my life. Communicating with professors has helped anxiety, it's helped me communicate with my, my family. Talking about it really helped. A couple, like a couple of months ago, I don't know if I would have been able to talk about it without crying. It has helped quite a bit for just confidence, knowing that I can get through something and that I've gotten through it before.